Hi there, Kawa here. So guys, uh, for this episode of Sage Road Battlefield, I'm going to show you what I personally consider is God Tier right now. Uh, it's really hard to achieve as you should expect from um, what we like to deem God Tier. So here's what I consider is God Tier. Uh, I, the fourth for Aikage. Uh, when fully booked, he is a force to reckon with and should be near unstoppable. Um, unlike certain units who I wouldn't consider tier one. But uh, yeah, so I hear, uh, for me at least, I only have one book. As you clearly can see, I only have one book on him, which allows him to spam his mystery as long as I have 90 or more chakra. Uh, I do need to get more of his books for him to be what I like to consider close to God tier, but uh, he's currently still teetering between tier 1 and God tier, just simply for the fact that he doesn't have the experiments yet. When he gets these skill trials, and he uh, changes... which one was it? Was it this? Yes, when he changes this from healing from his heel to over to um what was it uh, to the scaling the chakra scaling then that's when he becomes god tier but uh for now i'm just gonna show you what it looks like for him just to have uh just one book and at one book he's pretty much unstoppable already uh with full booked uh he will be 100% god. Well, he's he'll be still kind of slightly teetering between god tier um, and tier one, but he'll be so close to god tier that he might as well just be considered god tier at that point. Because also a lot of people like to you know harp on life steal. I, when fully booked, has an 80% life steal and a spammable mystery where he attacks four times. So. His lifesteal at 80% is a lot higher than a certain ninja. Um, but as you clearly can see, I don't have those books yet. It's going to take me a, a lot more frags to get his mystery 8. And then this one's like 50. And then I'm going to assume it's 100 for the last one. So it's going to take me a while if I even remotely plan to do it. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you we speak about god tier units and it 100% is him he is definitely the unit that we have at, at the closest to god tier right now but it's so hard to achieve it that you know it's not re really realistic but he 100% is the god tier unit but anyways instead of talking about him uh the setup here is really simple it's just earth main with the um chakra mystery along with uh his uh, power giving passives so you know the shield when you have a shield everyone gets 30 percent and then he just gives everyone shields all these units here are expendable i can 1v4 no problem uh once these people have done their job of producing that chakra i will just handle the rest on his own this is like generally the sole purpose of these people. Uh, Samui here, sure, her purpose in life is just to throw her dagger so that uh, I has a target to go after. Outside of that, um, she doesn't have much of a use. Uh, she does give you know, that uh, buff to them. And then on top of that, she gives you that chakra. But Yamato already here gives you the chakra in you and Earth Main too. So it's not that much. Um, but... Yeah, this team is really simple. Just make sure you have the 90 chakra, and then press I's mystery. And then from that point forward, you will never use chakra, and I will never stop spamming his mystery. So, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like when I do that. Uh, also, I just want to put out there that uh, my I is definitely a little subpar right now, because you can see here his total length degree uh i'm short 30 percent because you know he uses the land lightning people i haven't really leveled anyone up um i'll probably do this killer b or something or maybe like dari or something i don't know somebody I'll, I'll, I'll work on it along the line but um yeah that's just 
one point where he is a little bit subpar because I don't have him at with that extra 30%. No, actually 10%, my mistake. So slightly subpar and ignoring the fact that I do not have all his books or just the simple fact I don't have this at a lower number. Um, but I will say that uh, you, if you were to get his books, you obviously put one on this one first. Then, uh, then you would still probably do the second one for this. You want to max this out so it's easier on you because nine, the difference between 90 chakra and 70 chakra is so huge. So you would max this out first and then come back around to upgrade this uh, lifesteal thing. Uh, and then maybe put a point in this so that he can hit lightning, um, not lightning, <laughs> so he gets super armor, but it's yet again not that serious. As long as they're tagged, he'll just keep going after them. The lightning armor is just like, eh, if Samui is around, you know, you can get the, he can keep going after them. It's not that important. Uh, having double chase, also not super important. So you should prioritize definitely his mystery, max that first, then go back around to uh, start giving him this lifesteal. Because he thrives off that lifesteal. He's near unkill unkillable if he hits that 80% number. Okay, so we're starting off. Uh, I'm just going to run into somebody. Let's see. Alright, so... In Oops. That was completely my mistake. I 100% planned to press Yamato and I didn't. But it's fine. So that's one of the most important things. When you run into a Kasame, you absolutely have to stop him with Yamato. Um, but, you know, I get to leisurely get away with it because uh, my opponent is weaker than me. But in all seriousness, you can't uh, mess up like this. And then the other trick is that um, you have to realize that as long as Samui is here, uh, as long as I attacks once, he'll get the uh, chakra and he can spam. Oh, and another cute thing about it is um, you could Q it now while he has full chakra, and then, you know, if he gets interrupted or anything, he'll just be able to press it again. So, like, in this scenario, if he got interrupted, he'll just be able to cast it again. So, even though, let's say, I Q it, and then he loses all his chakra before he's able to cast, as long as when you Q the mystery, he had the chakra, it stays um, at a zero cooldown. Uh, okay, I can't hit Mass Man, so we're gonna stop this person here. Also, it's not absolutely necessary to have, um, Somewhere here, it could be someone else. It could be like Shisoi if you wanted a barrier, but I prefer her so that um, when you do the chase, uh, he keeps going after the same person until they die because she tags them when she does the chase. It's like you're directing your nuclear weapon, <laughs> and I like to do it that way over having a buff. Um... <laughs> And it also, in some scenarios, it's fine not to use Yamato, um, because you might want to save it so that he can free somebody from the CC, because that's also something his mystery does. Alright, I'm just going to take him out. Okay. 
So more or less, once I has achieved that goal of hitting the 100 chakra, it's near impossible to take him off the spamming. Because if you, let's say you had a Kasame and you drained my chakra on round two, I already queued the mystery on round one. So round two, I will absolutely be you know bulldozing do you people again. So at that situation, the only opening you have is on round three, assuming um, some way dies, because then I won't be able to generate the uh, chakra from uh, from eyes standard attacks. So in the rare situation that that does happen. You will, um, you will, you will definitely encounter that situation once in a while, but if when you do encounter that situation, you just aim to uh, last until round five, uh, assuming you know you only have one book, and then you need to last till round four if you have uh, both books. Because once he hits that point, you know you naturally get that chakra, and there's no stopping eye. He doesn't need his backline once that point hits. He just just rampage on his own. And it's just really ridiculous when he hits that point. Like you, you you're on a timer. You have X amount of turns to kill him. If you don't kill him. He is just gonna rampage. Once he starts rampaging, he he heals, and um, not a lot of units can do enough damage to prevent that um, heal. Because right now, uh, without books, his heal is 40% if I remember correctly. Because it goes from 40, 60 to 80. At 40%, he's, his life steal is already higher than Naruto's. And everyone's already complaining about Naruto's. So, imagine fighting I, who is at 40% naturally, and can go up to 80% with books. Uh, there's no reason why you would think that he is any weaker than Naruto. Uh, six path Naruto that is. You know, hey, everybody likes talking about his lifesteal, <laughs> and there's definitely a better lifesteal in this game. People I talk about spammable mystery, there's one that's almost 100% spammable. It's better than the one that requires um, you to have the combo right. Chakra is the easiest thing to gain around here. Uh, okay, so we're going to eat a Haruzin, and to avoid Toby Rama, um, you know, Interrupting me, we're just gonna let this go. Also, do under uh, do remember it's a little glitchy. When you do this, uh, make sure that you absolutely have the 100 chakra before you press Eyes Mystery. Because I know some people uh, would just be like, Oh, hey, I see the Katsuya Sula come out. I'm safe to put, press I. Uh, no, it's not. I, I ran into that mistake a few times before. You have to absolutely wait till that chakra shows up in your bar. So if he had the uh, chakra buff over the lifesteal, he is equally dangerous in the sense that he gains defense when he has the chakra. So you're, it's almost as though he had lifesteal because you're doing like, like no damage to him. And on top of that, he's gaining damage. So... It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's a scenario where, yeah, he's not healing, but 
Your odds of killing him are ne near zero, and he just like double or tripled his chance of killing you. I think he's a rude warrior here, so we're just gonna throw her knife over here. Oh, I guess not. But I was gonna say I don't like playing this team. Uh, it's really boring. <laughs> uh, all I have to do is press like two buttons. Make sure I have the chakra and I just keep pressing I. Uh, the computer will handle the rest for me. So this is one of the reasons why you hold on to I's, um, not I, Yamato's uh, mystery sometimes, um, because there is a chance where he can get CC'd and you don't want a lightning armored up uh, I attacking your own team. But as, you know, Shisori starts falling further and further out of the meta because he's just not good anymore, you're, you're not really in danger of that. See, already at 40%, you can noticeably see that I heals more than Naruto. Like, my Naruto heals about, I think, 300 on a standard. I heals 8. And I feel like killing this Itachi. Also, the, the added benefit is um, his standard is undodgeable. The one where, you know, he does the whole thing where you're tagged. That is undodgeable, as long as you're tagged. <laughs> and it hits really hard. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when he gets interrupted. Because you're gonna see, I purposely queued it, so you get interrupted. Hey, let me press it again. <laughs> Nothing happened. As long as you can take his chakra away, I can repeat this. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it, as you can see, even if you had a Kasame, uh, I would have stopped it with, like, let's say Yamato, and then I would use some way to throw a, the Kurnai at him, and then, you know, I would just go ham on him. There's no escaping it. <laughs> Alright, so I just don't want to see him dodge. I'm going to force it here anyways. This, they clearly have lightning armor, and there's an immune unit here. So you might as well just force Shisori's dodge. So you can, if you know, I went after him, you know, it's easier to uh, finish him off in one hit. Also. 
Another point that makes him ridiculous is that he has super armor. I forgot that. I forgot to mention that before. His super armor just it makes him ridiculous. He has lightning armor. He has super armor. Uh, he, he later on will gain. Well, not later on. Well, if you have the book, he gains the ability to ignore super armor, and he makes himself, you know, immune. It's just like he has everything, and that's why he's too ridiculous. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. I clicked you three times apparently. Oh, whoops. So just a quick mention, I don't know why there's Conan's all the way back here. I just don't see a reason why she should be back there. I understand you're trying to make her use, use her as a buff, but I'm pretty sure it's better for her to be at move 2 and have Shisui at 4 than have her at uh, 4 and Shisui at 2. But she does way more than Shisui. So, on the rare occasions that my eye doesn't crit, the damage is mediocre, because, you know, that's true for everything uh, in this game. When you don't crit, your damage is kind of mediocre, but, you know, he gets four tries a turn. Uh, one time of mediocre damage doesn't really mean account for too much. Also, the damage here looks a little low because um, they have root. That 100% resistance is nothing to joke about. <laughs> see, you clearly see the difference in damage the moment that root word a uh, war off. Uh, you know what, I was attacking Yoshi. I don't care. Uh... This was not the team I was expecting. Alright, so we're gonna burn his mirror first. Or her mirror first. And then... Oh, control fail. Alright, so this is where I'm going to show you where I'm going to purposely queue because I know that this um, Hashirama is going to interrupt me. But it's still worth it to, you know, attempt it. It doesn't change much in the grand scheme of things, because um, he's going to interrupt me, I'm not going to have Chakra, and I can't use his mystery again for a few turns, but down the line, um, we'll be able to use it again. So, yeah, she's dead, um, so we're probably going to enter the scenario where I is going to have to hold out until round 5. So, it's going to be a while, and I don't know if I can hold on, because uh, this power gap it does exist. It's a 40k power gap, and we'll see. I feel like he can hold on, because he really just has to make it to uh, really next round. And we can start rolling again. 
Yes, there's no more chain mysteries coming. So, and look at that. That was a 2k heal for a standard. I, I feel like he can hold on. Um, we'll find out, though. It's going to be a risky one. Because these clones are actually hitting kind of hard. Uh, if I have the other book, this would be easy. But I sadly do not. Yeah, he's not going to make it. Yeah. The... The not having that one book really makes a difference because it goes from round four to five, and when you fight someone stronger than you, you kind of <laughs> really need to be spamming it on round four. But yeah, that's an example of what it would look like if I uh, you were fighting someone stronger. It didn't help that it was Hashirama, and that there was a uh, mirror and a flower guard blocking me. But you know, ignoring that just simple fact. Um, the eye could have made it there if he was fully booked, but as you clearly know and see, my eye is not fully booked. And there really was going to be nothing that would have changed that situation, even if I ran uh, so-called God Tier Naruto. What the? Come back here. Um, yeah, God Tier Naruto would not have made a difference because. Uh, just simply the fact that that Hashirama is undodgeable, and he's faster than me. Oh. Alright, is the sleep go. coming? Oh, okay, we're good. Alright, let's throw a Kurnai at him. Okay, so my move 4 is uh, too slow. <laughs> oh! I... Completely forgot to do that. My mistake. I completely forgot to press my eyes machine. Let's go. Alright, so I must press it ahead of time. Because we are going to run into the scenario where we potentially lose Chakra when we hit Sasuke. So, like I said previously, we're in a scenario where these three in the back don't hit matter anymore. As long as we don't fall below that threshold, we're fine. And as it currently stands, there's no way for me to fall below that threshold. Might as well use this. Oh, I didn't even realize we ran out of time already. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, besides that one point where um, I lost to Hinoshi, uh, who is stronger than me, uh, I'm not using it as an excuse, it's just simply the fact that my eye is not fully awakened yet. Or not fully awakened, I mean, uh, not fully booked yet. Um, it's a difference of night and day almost. Like, how the difference between having the book on this and not having a book on this is ridiculous. Um, it just becomes more ridiculous once he has... 
everything done. And actually, not even just everything. I just need his mystery. Mainly, if his mystery was done, I would be able to spam it sooner and not have to worry about uh, chakra loss as much. Uh, but yeah, um, this is a very super subpar eye, and as I already showed you some of my uh, assist links, I'm already missing some damage. Uh, a regular team on me is about two. I mean, not two, three, 350k because this team is about 348, and that's mainly because Earth Main is move one here. Um, if it was water, there's a difference of about 2k here because he doesn't scale off ninjutsu and she does. So, yeah, it's roughly about. So, if we subtract that 2k, this is roughly about a 6k difference um, on the team and then not having the books. But, um, yeah, uh, I still stand very firmly with my opinion that I is the closest to being a god tier unit that we have. Uh, and obviously there is ridiculous criteria for you to meet to have a god tier unit. But yeah, for those people, I know there are definitely people who have it already, uh, who have the mystery maxed out and the lifesteal maxed out. They're near impossible to kill. There's like nothing you could do about them. Even if you ran in a Hashirama situation, uh, Hashirama would be hurting him. But if he had an 80% lifesteal his life will not be dropping at the rate mine's was and at and he'll be able to spam around what was it four yeah around four i would have spam and then proceeded to kill things and hashiram will do his mystery around five and or around six round six round five or six whatever it doesn't matter um it, because he has super armor it, it would not have affected him in any way because you couldn't you know drain his chakra anymore so I is more deadly than Naruto because he puts you on this timer where he just does not care. Because you have a set amount of time to kill him, even if you blow up his backline. And if you don't finish him within that set time, he's going to rampage on you. And already, you saw how much he life steals with just 40%. So, you were doubling whatever I had. Um... And yeah, um, like I said, I stand very firmly on my opinion that he is the closest thing to God tier that we have. Uh, I didn't really show a great example of it, seeing that I only have one book. But I assume you guys can, you know, get the picture. Um, I'll revisit this if I ever get his books, but it looks like it's really far off, um, seeing I only have like a few frags of him. But um, yeah, if he shows up in more events, I'll pick up more. Um, Alright, so yeah, that's the video guys. Um, as usual, have fun!